And good morning, my deep update for Saturday, March 19th, 2022. And I'm doing a little work on the Jeep. Uh, I'm not gonna really make a detailed video on changes in these springs and drive shaft out, rear drive shaft, because there's a lot of videos online. And on these springs, I've already had them out twice already. But I wanted to, wanted to document what I found uh, I just pulled my left rear driver's side uh, spring out and these are new. This is a popular lift, two inch lift kit. And this rubber is pretty new and probably has less than 100 miles on it. And it's pretty beat up. And I'm not gonna blame anybody because I may, I gotta make sure. Sorry about that. I've got to make sure that uh, I get these in right. I think I'm going to go ahead uh, and hold off on putting my springs in. Go ahead and start working on the drive shaft and order me some more rubber uh, isolators. Or I forget what you call these. Uh, because this one here looks pretty beat up. But anyway, uh, that's what I'm working on today. As you can see, I already got this wheel, this spring out. You know, if you disconnect the uh, uh, shot and the uh, sway bar link, and use your jack and you, uh, the the uh, sway bar. I mean, the axle gets fairly flexible, and you, I was able to get the uh, spring out fairly easy. And now, comparing the new spring to the old spring, it looks like the old spring is compressed some. And that's the new spring. Better, better, Bob. The new. You're no expert, boy. Uh, you better do some more of that research that, that you're famous for if I was you. Uh, uh, you can see it's a little bit shorter, probably compressed. So, uh, this probably wore out because I had some sagging. It wasn't on this side, but it was on the other side. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to make sure that I get this uh, equipment back in properly because I may have had something out of the line. <laughs> I may have something not properly seated. Well, boy, you better hire well, you a professional mechanic. Right oh, yeah, I want a lift kit, you know. Right now... If I had it to do again, I would have left that stuff alone, just got my Jeep running good, then thought about that stuff later. Anyway, that's my Jeep update. If I find anything else, I'll, uh, I'll uh, make another update, and uh, I'm gonna see about ordering me some more lower uh, rubber isolators for the rear. That's my Jeep out. And good morning, this is my Jeep update. March 20th, uh, 2022, Sunday morning. Damn spiders! And it's about nine o'clock. And as you can see, I'm getting up under here, getting ready to uh, pull my drive shaft. What I haven't uh, loosened anything up yet. I'm gonna spray it, let it set for a while. I've run out of the dust buster, so I'm gonna use this uh, WD-40 gel lubricant. I don't know. If it'll do as well, it should. Who in the hell the taught you how to lubricate a little bit. They anyway, that's a quick update. I'll get back with it any time. Yeah, I believe these are uh, Eight millimeter bolts on these brackets. I'm not really sure. So I'll check into that. I'm gonna let this sit for a while. Anyway, yeah, there you go again, wasting that so damn expensive lubricant for about a half hour because I'm in no hurry. Sunday morning, I'm hurry. Gonna have another you never coffee. been in a and damn I can see hurry, right boy. Now, you know, not being experienced. Uh, I probably oh, should have took on, the drive boy, shaft the off before I uh, started tackling the springs. You know, I'd have less objects in my way, you know, like this uh, jack stand and 
because I could have just left it right on the tires. But anyway, that's on my Jeep. Get back with you. Who in the hell said it was your Jeep? Okay, it's my Jeep. Back with a quick update. And as usual, confused and feeling like a hey, idiot. Boy, that uh, body everything I close. think is going to be easy. Turns out to uh, uh, end up being a little tougher. Anyway, the problem with having, if you, uh, if you see, sorry about the camera angle. Do this with both hands. You see those two bolts there. Now the other two on the other side came out real fairly easy. These here are starting to round off a little bit, so I've got my socket, Pittsburgh socket, uh, that uh, should be able to grab that. I'm going to have to move the shut. Now I got that one right there. This one, the close one, I've got that one loose. The far one, I'm still having problems with. Anyway, uh, I'll get back with you in an update if I make progress on this, my Jeep out. And this is a my Jeep update. I'm kind of close, so I don't know what the focus is going to look like. But I got them out, and it took that Pittsburgh socket to get it out. And this is about the third or fourth time I've had to use my sockets for uh, some of these tough bolts that have rounded off in this old Jeep. And so I'm really glad I picked them up while I was at Harbor Freight the last time. Okay, let me see if I can show you what they look like. If you don't have any, you need to get some. If you got one of these old Jeeps, you're gonna, that's what they look like inside. And they'll grab the head of a rounded off bolt and nut and get it on out for you. My Jeep update out for now. This is a My Jeep update. For the 20th, I'm going to close this video out now and get it posted because it's getting longer. Uh, I did get my, I've got my uh, left driver's side rear spring in. It's not all uh, bolted up yet because I still got the right side to do. But anyway, I'll update you on this uh, in the next video. Uh, I've got to get this side uh, pulled out of uh, the rear spring that is and uh, get the new one in anyway I'll uh, update that in the drive shaft I checked out and it fits up fine so I'll be installing that but I'm waiting on a, a new rubber boot that I want to put on it uh, oh just for information because I thought I had the wrong drive shaft I called Gorman and they said this came from the factory this is a balance, uh, a balancer. And I thought it was a flange or some, I don't know what it's called, but it's a balancer. And they no longer put those, because they precisely uh, balance them when they build them. And they don't need that, that balancer. Anyway, that's something I learned. I thought I had one drive shaft, they didn't need the same. The same length, same, same. 